Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of a Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin and today we are going to have a caving adventure. If you missed the last episode, we went ahead and built this house. I would put up some B-roll, but that gets a little iffy. Your yeah, butt! Interrupt my intro. Since then, I played a little bit off camera. As you can see down here, I died. And so we're back at level one. I died while just looking for iron in a cave. Typical beanin. We've got a cow farm going and we've got a lovely little crop farm right here. So this chicken in a hole. I also expanded my sugarcane farm right here a little bit better so that we can start getting paper and leather towards our enchantment table. But Today's episode is all about caving and becoming rich. I know that last episode, I got a little gung-ho with the razor tool and Premiere Pro and cut out uh, most of the boring stuff, but I wanted to treat that episode as my pilot episode for this series. And it was pretty well received on its own, actually. A uh, thousand views, a lot of likes, great feedback on it. The only complaint I got from the video was that it was a little short, which makes sense. I want to have these videos be on average around 30 to 40 minutes long. Always want to do a shorter version of the video first to gauge, you know, what people think, what they like, what they don't, stuff like that. Now, while this iron cooks, I'm going to go ahead and organize my inventory and take care of any loose ends that I may have from last episode. Let's see, do I have gravel? Uh, no, but we can split this. Are these earth stones and stalagmite? Are those? Oh, I thought that was poisoned. These ones should just go there. I don't know if they'd really fit in here. Put away my ores and grab that for my furnace downstairs. And I guess return the feathers to this chicken as there was a dead chicken outside my front door this morning. So that was probably your brother. Got myself some armor and let's create another crafting table. Yes, the crafting table addiction is starting again. And we'll make ourselves two new pickaxes so that we don't have to do too much work down in the mines. Can't forget a bucket and some torches and we should be good to go. We have a full inventory. We have a fully organized inventory and we'll see how messy this gets by the end of it, but I have the bare essentials. I might need to bring some more food. Sun's going down, which is great timing to start exploring caves. And I think I'm gonna explore that cave right there because that is the cave that I died in earlier. And down we go. I also added these stairs because walking up and down this terrain was getting awful. And I still need to finish this, but you know, it's a lot better than it was. And here we are, the edge of the center of the earth. And we're already met with creepers, okay. Sounds about right. I really wish I was recording that and I don't know why I wasn't, but a creeper came up here and saw me then decided to have a buddy come up behind him. The first creeper exploded and then he launched a second creeper up at me and then I just, so I'm going to try and go about this cave in tears. So I'll start out in this level, gather all the materials I can find easily, and then go down to that level and so on and so forth. Remember, my focus today is overall wealth, not just, you know, searching for diamonds. And you're probably wondering, you know, Bean, and how are you going to classify what a tier is? Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to do a general level. So like this area right here is on the same level as that area over there. I, I don't know. I don't need to get too technical. I just want to get a lot of resources so I don't fall on these dripstone, uh, dripstone things. What is going on? Okay. Well, we're stuck. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Look at that death message. Ah! Sorry about that. All right, let's sleep real quick. I know time won't pass, but ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Beanin's back, everybody. Also, if I'm ever playing this game and in the video, I start walking off in one direction, but I'm looking at the camera, that's mainly because I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. At least, you know, for the most part, it's I'm not a PC gamer in terms of growing up with it. So there's a lot of bad habits that I have and uh, inefficiencies, if you will, in the way that I play. And, you know, I can already hear Leo in the comments screaming about how I had a bucket and I could have just used the water from there. <sighs> We try, Leo, we try. And you know, that wasn't even that large of a fall. It was just because I landed on this little thing. And now we're all the way down here. So I'm gonna have to make my way back up. Okay, minor setback aside, we are good to go on harvesting again. So that's tier one complete. Very generous on the copper. You see, I've already gotten about 22 blocks of raw copper. And so we can go ahead and start smelting. I might pop up to the surface quickly and grab some wood 
because I need a chest to store most of the things. I don't want to get too unorganized, but I also need to remember that I'm going for resources that I can use. Copper is a decorative re Copper is a decorative resource. There we go. It's something that I'm going to use later in game. Ah, okay, my house does look really nice from down here. I like it at the top of the hill. Maybe I'll do some terraforming and kind of make the mountain look a little more menacing and spookily. Make it a little more menacing and medieval looking. What the? You guys just showed up out of nowhere. Come here. I know I have a shield. Can't block and eat at the same time. There we go. Oh, you're still alive? Get out of here. Ugh. You know, I play really recklessly when it's not hardcore. Actually, what am I saying? I play recklessly on hardcore. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I am going to leave little checkpoints, if you will, throughout my caving experience today while I harvest a lot of these materials and light up each tier. Get out of here, spider. Then that way, if I die, I don't... It's like I'm saving a checkpoint in a game. Sorry, I'm not moving. That's not entertaining to watch. But yeah, it's essentially creating checkpoints for me in the cave. Okay, that's a water cave. Good to know. Whoa! Okay, honestly, gotta go out here. Block it with that. Thank you. This is a volatile episode. Get out of here. We're not even deep in the cave yet. Here, let's get it down. I don't mind if the zombies come after me. It's the... It, it, one thing I'll always complain about is it's these guys right here. Biggest headache in the game, especially after their update. But I do like their bones. Let's take care of you. Gosh, now all I need is that Enderman to get aggroed at me. Made sure to grab myself a bucket of water because, you know... I'm gonna need that at some point. I believe I have this section lit up. Monsters have been cleared out. What the heck? Okay, we're gonna deal with that one later. But the <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I died there for a second. The monsters have been cleared out of this area and now I can collect the sweet, sweet resources. You know, at some point it's like game, come on, how much copper is enough copper? I've been mining in this vein for how long and it, it just keeps going. As for the minerals and materials in the roof, I'm going to leave those until later, mainly just because I don't want to deal with bringing in a scaffolding. I'm actually going to grab some of this dripstone because I can use it for an infinite fuel source. Let's start smelting the things that matter instead of these. I can smelt these later when I'm in a pinch for XP. Oh, and look at that. I've got a bow. That's actually pretty helpful. Well, that's smelting. I can move on to the next stage of this cave, which honestly, I think I'm going to go this direction. See a lovely geode right there. And this seems to open up into a mine shaft. Yes. It also seems to open up into a rather dangerous pit. I'm going to be smart about this because we got Binky down there. Ah, get out of here. So this section of cave looks to be a little more dangerous than the other sections I was working in. I think I'm going to put a bookmark in this section now that I've lit it up a little and go back and see what's past the other side. Yeah, because this right here is hard to navigate. And if I run into like a skeleton or something, it could turn into me dying. But actually right here doesn't seem too bad. And we have reached the point where I don't really need that much copper right now. I don't have the storage for it. So I'm going to stop grabbing copper and focus on iron, coal, gold, diamonds, a little bit of lapis, you know, because what, you go through like one stack every, I don't know, every 17 enchantments, maybe <laughs> something ridiculous like that. And copper is one of those things you don't get XP from until you smelt it. So it ends up costing you a little more than you get, whereas coal, you get XP and utility out of it. I apologize if you hear a squeaky mosquito sound. That would be my cat, Sasha, wanting attention. Can sit there and try to pet him all day and he runs away from me, but the second I don't pay attention to him, he has to get up on my feet. I thought you were iron, you liar. Oh, I was like, am I stupid? I could have sworn there was iron up here. Don't answer that question. Can't see what's going on, but if it looks like my arm is cocked up, that's because this one <laughs> got into my lap. And he's purring, so apologies if there is cat in video. Okay, now I'm stuck in a hole. So I think before I dive into the depths of these caves, I'm going to use up all of my pickaxes uh, and then make a drop at my little base and then go look for diamonds. If I'm honest, the hunt for diamonds kind of got ruined for me in the first episode because I came across them accidentally at a place that I didn't think I'd find them. But it, it, it happens. It's rare. But, but the amount of iron I'm getting here should hold me until I get a rudimentary iron farm up and running. Oh, this was this is what I was looking for. Big open, easy access 
access cave. I'm not gonna go down there just yet. I wanna tackle this, you know, I, I wanna tackle this whole cave. There's so many caves that I've only partially tackled. And, oh, look at that. Actually, now that I don't have Optifine, Thank you. Oh, look at that, right into another cave. But yeah, I'd actually like to explore this entire cave uh, if I could before getting to the larger sections. Mainly just because, you know, it's it's so hard now to explore a whole cave. Like back in the old days, you know, we could easily do that. But right now it's like, okay, you half of this mountain is hollow, have fun. Oh, I'm on fire. But I had my water bucket. Sorry if that was the most god awful smile you've ever seen. What? Wait, why am I recording? <laughs> I hit the record button for no reason. These mechanics are really weird. I was sitting here and he was about to blow up and I just went in here and he stopped. Oh dang, bro, you got a cozy little hole? I won't bother you. See, now one downside to exploring a cave like this is, is that the thing I feared would happen is kind of happening. As in, I'm getting so sidetracked that I might forget where I came in. And I, that's just... It just adds so much, but luckily we have the power of editing and I can do all that off camera. It's just something that bothers me in terms of efficiency. I know, right? Me, the least efficient player worried about efficiency. It, it's weird. I, I do. I do things weird if you haven't learned. Oh, look at that. We made it back to the ravine. Huh? Okay. I guess it's not that crazy. So where did I? Oh, okay. So Asha. I appear to have looped around, which honestly, that's not bad. I really hate it when like you loop around and get lost and like you're really close to where you were, but also not close at all. If that makes sense. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I'm in a new section of the cave, but I'm closer than I was a few minutes ago. Some of these walls are pretty interesting. It seems like it just cuts off into a new chunk. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of this skeleton right here. How about you? And there we go. So far, wow, two stacks of iron. I think I only have a good amount at this higher level. So let's continue on with our items. Actually, give me that. And I want to make a quick trip over to the... Oh, crap. <laughs> I want to make a quick trip over to the mine shaft that I found in this direction. Yeah, see, look at that. And, but I just need to get some wood over here from the mine shaft so that I can make some more pickaxes before we head down into the depths of this Minecraft planet thing. Actually, this little slab right here is perfect for me. I don't want to get too into the mine shaft right now because... It's not deep enough, so I won't find good resources. Actually, I might find pretty good resources, but I wanna I wanna get deeper before you know I start looking at this side of the cave. And I know there's a lot of deep sections over on the other side that I was at. So you know, at some point I'm gonna need to come back here and make walkways. This is just crazy. It, see, I'm like, <laughs> it's like you fall a block onto these things and then you're, all right, I think four iron picks should be good for me. The rest I can use for more torches and that should leave plenty of space to mine at a lower level. Okay, now we have the challenge of finding that deep hole that I had earlier. Oh, is it down here? Maybe it's down here. You know what, I'm gonna keep going down and we'll hope for the best. Worst case scenario, I dig my way out and you just relocate everything on the surface. Yeah, see, caves like this can be both promising and bad because they're small, but they could lead to a big opening. But uh, Ooh, it looks like this one's good. Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I wanted. See if we can see any diamonds. Oh, look at that. They're right there. And some, no, that's moss. But this, this is what I like to see. And we got a mine shaft over there. Uh, and we fell. Wow, there are plenty of diamonds down here. So I'm gonna take my time and just light this area up as much as possible. These caves annoy me. See, I really don't want to die down here. Okay, let's go ahead and stage the thumbnail. That should work. Wait, I might have goofed that. And okay, now we can stage the thumbnail. That should be good. And get an action shot. <laughs> I'm putting so much effort into these thumbnails, but you know, it's just one quick picture, but that picture can make or break the video. So I'm going to take care of this whole area and just light things up and I shall return when there are no monsters to bother me. And oh my God, that's a, 
big vein of diamonds. Ah, okay. I just played ring around the rosy with this creeper and he fell down a hole. So his, he's, he's staying there. Continue on these. I've marked those. Well, it's kind of hard not to see them. And I just want to, is that a ravine? Yep. That was dangerous. Okay. That should keep me safe for the next round of diamonds. Ugh, the only thing better than diamonds is netherite. But I mean, still, even after all these years getting this nice blue glow, ah, it's so nice. Oh, I hate cave spiders. Now I'm going to have to go down and hopefully find exactly where I was. And I locked it at hard. So it's not like I can change it to peaceful while I run down there. And I had a lot of diamonds too. But what are you going to do? That is the single thing that keeps Minecraft still somewhat challenging for people like me. Okay, this actually isn't terrible. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it was a pretty straight line down to where I was. And look, we're already back in the main cave. Uh, how am I going to get down? Okay, I guess we'll use gravity. All right. Here's everything. Thank you. Thank you. Skeleton, I don't have time for your BS right now. Oh my God. Okay, get away from here, because that's a cave spider spawner. My food. Grab that arrow. Oh, there you are. Okay. That should... be fine until I grab my crap. All right, everything accounted for, looks like it. Got that. Uh, where'd my shield go? Oh, there it is. There we go, okay. Now we're good. Just gonna walk away. Okay, oh boy. I'm just gonna walk down here and restructure myself. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yes, that was confusing to anyone. It's because I just walked away for like 20 minutes. I mean, at least now you see why I hate skeletons so much. Okay, I think it might be safe for me to go after these diamonds. Actually, what would be smarter is going after this cave spider spawner that's protected by a creeper right now. Can I have any victories? Okay, you're stuck in there. Thank you. Look at you dumb idiots. You know what? I'm going to light this whole area up. Look at all you morons. Come here. I can't hit them. That's okay. I'll just keep this lit up. Judging by the sound of zombies, I think there's a spawner around here. Oh, look at that. Ow. Well, that'd be nice. We can get an XP farm early. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. All right, there we go. Hey. I figured I'd find a spawner. Uh, oh, diamonds. What do we got? Oh, look at that. The copyrighted music disc. Melons, that's good. Uh, I can drop that off here. I don't need those. Oh, but I do want the chest. Oh, well. Dude, the amount of mobs that are in this mob is getting me riled up. There is th four creepers now. Get out of here. They're all just hanging out. I don't know what this spawning engine is, but my God. Oh, more diamonds. Everything is okay now. Uh, these guys got freed up, but they led me to even more diamonds. Get out of here. Stop punching me in the face. So I, ah, there's even more diamonds over there. Okay, now I'm starting to feel like a Hermitcraft YouTuber or a Hermitcraft player because geez, all these diamonds. What are we at? 24, that's a whole, that's a whole set of armor. Ah, they got me with the oldest trick in the book. We're not diamonds of his glow lichen. This game is like an emotional roller coaster. So many, so many times. Oh, wait, I could get a good picture here. There we go. I got the action shot. Ah. I'll have to figure out which one looks the best. Actually, wait, why did I break that? Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone a lot better. We finally get to harvest the diamonds that I found so far. I Some of these caves, man, they get me going. Get me all riled up. And for what? Oh, just remember that I need to be looking for resources outside of just diamonds. Uh, redstone is going to be something that I'm going to need because I'm actually going to make redstone farms early on. You know, I'm not going to wait 40 or 50 episodes to do it. Plus, the redstone is good XP. 
I feel like I hear. Is that another monster spawner? It's either a spider spawner or a cave spider spawner. You know, there has been a surprising lack of lapis that I've gotten this episode. I mean, 39, that's not bad, but usually there's more. Maybe it's because I dropped down so low to start. Aye. Okay, now in terms of diamonds, I think I found all of the, oh, I'm out of torch. I think I found all of the diamonds out here in the plain view, if you will. There might be some back here that I missed. Only problem is, is there's two skeletons. Oh, ready. Whoa! Nope. 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 Gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat. Gotta eat. <laughs> you know, I think... I, I think, uh... I think 30 diamonds is good. Nah, we'll just wait. Now, what is this? Sending four of these bozos after me? There we go. Are there any diamonds back here? Those diamonds? That's just stupid glow moss. I know there's diamonds in the ceiling of the cave, but I'm lazy for that. And I can't really explore much outside of this area because I have four coal and am out of torches. I guess the next best thing would be to start heading back up and collecting the other resources that I've already gathered. Now I have to remember how I got here going backwards, but I think it's up through this way. And I suppose I could grab the iron that I didn't grab on the way down, considering that I don't have, you know, much to look for. Okay, this is definitely not the way that I was coming from, but I found another zombie spawner. So that's good. Only problem is... Uh... Ooh, piercing two. I'll put that on the non-existent trident that I have. Ooh, another bucket. Always good. Actually, let me dump some of these blocks. Hey, sir. Sir. Okay. Ow! Ah, okay, I see where it is. Look at that, the reflection is turning everything purple. I love shaders. We are back in familiar territory, which I think is great because it was getting a little seedy down there. Made off with 30 diamonds, so in total that gives us 36, which should give us a brand new set of diamond armor, diamond tools, and who knows, maybe enough for an enchantment table? I don't think so. All right, I'm gonna have to take this and steps or stages so i think i'm gonna go for the most valuable items and my bucket and that looks good to me you know oh i have two buckets i forgot about that i'll come back here and grab everything else on the next go around as in you know i'll transport all the stuff get it in the right spots and then we can come grab the other stuff i had to check on time real quick but we're good oh yeah we definitely made up with a great amount of resources for this trip and wow, did all those just come out even? Nice. And you know I'm definitely going to tap into my diamonds already and get that going. Just too bad of a player to not have the diamond armor. Put my rarities in a new chest. Are these rare? Eh, I guess. Melon seeds can go in the nature chest. I guess all these pickaxes can go right here. I'll use those for stone collection, etc., etc. Don't yell at me, I know it's etc., but who, who cares? I probably care enough to point it out. Gonna check on my farm too, replant that because it's about ready. And I can also harvest this. I know it wasn't fully grown, but it is nice to, you know, keep planting this as much as I can. Breed the cows and I'll return over there to get the rest of the items. Oh, I wish I was recording that. I just combo moved a creeper. I guess I did have torches in my inventory. Didn't see that. All right, that should be everything taken care of in terms of inventory. Now we get the fun of making our diamond equipment. I think I'm going to go with tools first and then armor, whatever that is. Got our sword, got our ax, shovel, and the pick. Oh yeah. Looking spiffy. And now that we have full diamond armor and tools in the second episode, I guess the next tier we should aim for is enchantments. Now that's not going to be the second episode, but we've got a good start on that. So we will have the necessary resources to get the enchantments we need. I think logically the next steps would be uh, nether, then enchantment, then netherite, 
the nether netherite enchant then netherite the netherite enchantment and then well we just keep going from there but next episode we will be working on farms i want to get a tree farm an iron farm and and an xp farm now are we going to do that all in the next episode probably not because i want these to be a little bit you know efficient so it's more of the next three episodes will be making those farms depending on how complicated they are off camera i'm going to continue to clean things up around here and you know fix that fix this up maybe get working on this pathway a little more get it so i can walk up and down with not having to have any issues and i'll probably just visit that cave and gather re resources as i need them i also haven't forgotten that i need things like storage stuff like that and we'll get there we'll get there but i'm trying to do episodes a lot more strategically than i did last time but anyways guys please remember to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video i post videos every monday and saturday both that have to do with minecraft and i stream when i can until next time this has been a minecraft let's play i'm Beanin. Peace.